Edward Stevenson with TimelessWallet.net. This video will be a technical analysis opinion on NYC listed advanced micro devices ticker AMD. In this video, our goal is to overview short term trends, see how they fit into the midterm outlook with this chart, and ultimately, as precisely as possible, try to predict where the price may be heading and discover trends for the near term. The reason this market caught my attention in particular was threefold. First, the fact that we're bouncing off a significant supporting trend line. Second, the fact that we made a pivot low and broke above a nearby high. Third, the fact that we're approaching a significant level of resistance depicted with this black trend line. If we look, take a look back to the fall months in 2009, you can see that we made a double top in and around the $6.35, $6 cents per share area, after which a price declined, broke to the upside, gapped up, and found support at $6.35 per share. So this once resisting trend line became support and support the price nicely for many months up until recent trading. The second reason the stock caught my attention as I mentioned was the fact that we're bouncing off a supporting trend line. Now you took a look at the chart and you might think well where's that supporting trend line? The supporting trend line is really in the bottom downtrend rather the bottom trend line in the downtrend that I'm drawing in right now. So a downtrend is really defined by price that's making both lower highs and lower lows. You can see the price is clearly drifting to the downside and being contained within these two trend lines more or less. I mean you could draw this in a little bit more accurately but it really defeats the purpose of what I'm trying to say. You can see that at least four times in the past six months the price has bounced off of this supporting trend line. Here's one, two, three, four and what I'm looking at here could potentially be five. So the move that I think can be made trading shares of AMD advanced micro devices here is um, a win-win situation if you will. Worst case scenario I see the price heading up towards this resisting trend line in and around the seven dollar per share mark. Best case scenario I see it testing peaks in and around the uh, July to June area. And I'll get back to this and it may seem a little obscure what I'm talking about in terms of this trend line and these two trend lines making a downtrend but as this video goes on, I'm sure you'll understand how all these pieces fit together and what I'm talking about in general. What I'm going to do now is look for significant levels of support. So drawing some trend lines using the Fibonacci retracement tool. So I'll take that low from late 2008 and stretch this all the way up to that peak in the month, the summer months of uh, 2010. So you can see we're going right from 0 to 100. And what I'm going to do now is just scroll in so you can take a better look at what I'm talking about. The 50 line is really quite a pivotal level of support and you can see that in particular on Monday's trading session as we saw this large move on significant trading volume, the price really did find support at the 50 FIB retracement level and specifically that's, let me just reference it, $5.95 per share. So in that arena, the price found support. Let's take a look at what the open was, just so we know. $5.95 per share. So in and around that area, we have quite a sig significant level of uh, support at this point in time. You can see the price dipped slightly below it, but it did not go as far as the uh, 61.8 retracement level, which actually sits at about $5 per share. Maybe a little bit below that, $4.90, $4.95 per share, but again, in that arena. And again, I pinpoint this level at uh, $6.35 per share based on the previous peaks coming off the fall months in 2009. I think it'll play a very pivotal role. I'll get back to that downtrend I drew. What I really think will happen in the near term is that either we'll test that resistance trend line or break it, at which point we'll test resistance that lies higher. So all I've done now is redrawn those two trend lines that make up this downtrend over the past few months. Worst case scenario, I see the price heading up towards the $7, maybe $7.10 per share mark, which would be this upper trend line, which serves as resistance. Best case scenario, if the price were to break above this, we could be testing this uh, 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level or the peak coming off of this period. And if we just reference that, you can see the high was about $8.25 per share. 
So that could be a level that the price may very well test should it break this downtrend. Of course, in order to do that, it would need to break this trend line, which is currently at about $7.20 per share. But I see this more, more as a swing play than a day trade. Uh, the stock isn't really known for making big moves on a daily basis, but it can consistently make gains. And overall, let's say after a week or maybe two weeks of trading, it can make a very large move. In fact, if it were, if it were to move to the uh, $8.25 per share area, it could easily give you a return of about 32% from today's close. And worst case scenario, if we move up back to that resisting trend line, um, as I pinpointed, at about $7 per share, we're looking at about a gain of 12%. So again, not a bad move, considering uh, both are very realistic and could happen more or less between the short term and mid term period. Just to reference the FIB tool, the reason I decided to use it to identify levels of support and resistance really relates to uh, the price movement. You might think that we are in an uptrend, but in fact, over the past few months, we have formed this downtrend. It's very evident by these two trend lines, but we were in an uptrend, and that's why I use Fibonacci to identify where we may find support typically in a healthy market after making a nice rally like we did beginning in late 2008 and of course ending in mid 2010 the market has to retrace regain uh, some ground to the downside so to speak after or rather before making another big move up which may very well be the case so with the weekly chart we can see that regardless of how we draw the supporting trend line you can see at one point or another we really did break this supporting trend line so we did break the uptrend that had formed in that period between late 2008 and mid 2010. The last thing I'd like to comment on here is a newsletter that we sent out yesterday in fact as the market was rallying we sent out an alert to trade shares of advanced micro devices the reason being is the exact same that I explained in the video the fact the market was breaking out broke above resistance made a pivot low and bounced off support so what we mentioned was the fact that, according to our analysis, our opinion, we think this will be an appropriate midterm swing trade. Our real-time alerts and premium stock trading service is getting a lot of recognition as of late, and rightfully so, because we've helped a lot of members to real-time gains, gains day trading, swing trading, and just looking for solid plays on a daily basis. So if you're interested in this type of service, it's definitely worth checking out. All you have to do is go to timelesswall.net and read more about what we can offer you, how we can help you make gains on a daily basis. Once more, this was Edward Stevenson with TimelessWall.net. Thank you for listening.